Welcome to Inside the Studio with Greg Worth. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about this fantastic software called Sonarworks Reference 3. And what this is, is it's a speaker calibration software that it helps you take your problem with your room resonances and various issues that you have. It can measure the room and create an EQ curve that can help compensate that for more accurate monitoring in any room environment. I did a video previously about the IK Multimedia Micromonitor speakers, which I love. But in that video, I mentioned that uh, once you start cranking the volume, that that's how you bring out your issues with your room. If it's not a specially treated room, it could just be an office, a bedroom, whatever. The, this software helps you uh, get a little closer to the flat monitoring. And what's really cool about it is it's, it's pretty simple. Um, it comes with a a very high quality calibration microphone, put it on a tripod stand. You launch this uh, reference app here. It prompts you through all these steps and it measures it pretty intricately. You know, you have to place the mic in various places and it'll tell you. And it, it also knows how much, how, if your input volume is too loud or too low, it makes you adjust that. So it's very, very accurate. Um, you know, one afternoon I just ran this, it took maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, I don't know. And once you're done, you can pop open the plugin in your DAW. I have it in Pro Tools. And what you do is you put it last in the chain on your master fader. And um, you would go here and you would import your profile that you created in the app there. And I named it GW Home Mix Rig. Um, you launch it and this shows you, these are the issues with my room, you know? big dip here and a hundred various things. This is just, you know, not even a treated room. So this was a perfect example because I think, you know, this is helpful for a lot of up and comers that don't have a lot of money. You know, there, there's certain things that you, you can um, buy like this and the, the small speakers and just various things where you can get by without having to spend too much money. You can, you can get the work done. And as you go, you can spend money on acoustic treatment and whatnot. But um, so just a little bit about this plugin. So this shows the red obviously is the target. You want it to be as flat as possible. So this does some corrections between the left and the right. And, you know, it, it's flat. You know, you basically go over here and you can bypass it. You can engage it. And of course, you have an output volume control. So you can do some level matching and things like that. And it's really impressive. Um, it was just a learning experience for me because usually in this room, I'm just, I'm listening at low levels or on headphones. So the room is never really an issue, but sometimes you want to crank the volume a little more. And I'm definitely hearing this, you know, and now that I see this graph when I'm listening without this plugin, I can hear it. Um, and it's amazing. And so I definitely suggest giving this a try. It's something, it's not very expensive. I found that they also have one for headphones which I don't have yet, but maybe I'll, I'll give that a trial, you know, do another review. One important thing to note is that, you know, you put it to last on your plugin chain. When you bounce your mix, you need to make sure that this is in bypass mode because you don't want this EQ to actually be printed. This is only for monitoring. Okay. And, um, so, you know, so just check this out. Let me know what you think. If you guys, have tried this already. Let me know what your experiences are, especially with the headphone. Curious what to think. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video and please subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll check you out next time.